Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to change your leaflet markers into marker clusters. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm going to leave several links in the description down below. One in particular is going to be a demo I did about creating a leaflet web map and adding some GeoJSON data to that. And for this demo with a marker cluster, I'm basing it off of that one. So as you see, I have a file called locations. There's my GeoJSON data. I'm pulling it right through here. And my map looks like this with the regular markers. And again, we want the marker clusters. So we need to go to GitHub and we need to get some code from there. Again, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And when we get to the uh, GitHub website, if you scroll all the way down past the table of contents, where it says using this plugin, it says download the version 1.4.1 release, go and use that. So I already downloaded that and I unzipped it. So I'm going to copy this unzip folder and I'm going to put it into my project folder. I'll paste it right here. Going over to my uh, Visual Studio, I can already see here's my folder. So we're going to add a couple style sheets and a couple JavaScript uh, bits of code to start with. So let's go ahead and add it over here. I'm just going to copy the code for uh, the style sheet. And I'm just going to delete this part where it's referencing link and so over to under the dist uh, subfolder, we're going to copy the marker cluster CSS. And I'm selecting that file. I'm right clicking. I'm going to copy relative path. I'm going to paste it right in between the, the double quotes there. So I'm going to copy this one more time, paste it, delete out this link, and I'm going to add this one here marker cluster default css so i'm right clicking copy relative path and i'm going to paste that right in here so now we want to add a couple bits of javascript so i'm just copying the format here i'm going to paste it and also in this list folder let's copy this leaflet marker cluster slash src javascript and we'll paste it right over here copy this format one more time paste it and let's delete this one more bit of code within this folder it's actually going to be under src and it's marker cluster JavaScript. So copy relative path. Let's go and put it here. Okay. So down below with our data, we're going to change this up a bit. So it's going to be a variable. And we're going to say markers equals L marker cluster group. Okay, and then we'll do variable marker equals L geo JSON. The file's called locations. Oops. Okay, so now for the leaflet cluster marker, or marker cluster rather. So down here, we're going to have markers add to add layer to marker. And then map add layer markers. So we're going to save that, and we will go back to our map and refresh it. And here is our marker cluster as we zoom in. 
and you see how the clustering is working. All right, guys, so this is a very quick, easy way to make the marker cluster. Um, as always, please feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any problems along the way. And always leave me a message if you if there's a particular demo video you'd like to, to see. I'll be more than happy to make that for you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.